What's up, y'all? It's Katie Austin here, and welcome to your lean legs and booty sculpt all on your mat. So, no need to stand up. You guys can kind of like rest a little bit, but at the same time, we're really gonna focus on toning that lower half. We're gonna get right into it and come right here on our knees and our feet flat on the floor, meaning I do not want your toes pointed up. I want your feet just like this. We're gonna come into some nice kneeling squats. So sit a little bit low with that and pick it back up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. We're gonna speed it up just a little bit to really feel this burn in your glutes, making sure you're putting in all your effort to squeeze those glutes at the top. Great. Nice work, you guys. Give me 10 more right here. Go at your own pace. Nice work. We are just getting started. Four, three, sit back with it, two. And on this last one, stay right here. Hands out, elongate those arms. What I want you guys to do is slowly come back, just sit back a little bit and push forward. So we're really working those quads. Again, this will not bulk up your quads right here, but really focus on leaning them out. Because if you don't feel this right here, sit back a little bit lower right there and then pull yourself up using those quads. Awesome, we have a few more. Tighten up your core too. Shoulders back and down. Wonderful. Last two. Last one. You guys should feel this right here because I sure do. And relax. As you relax, I want you guys to take this weight that is on the top of your mat, place it right behind your knee, and we're gonna do some nice basic leg pulses right here. Adding that weight really helps lift and tone our booties. Here we go. Core tight, your shoulders are aligned with your hands. Beautiful. Flex foot. 10 seconds. You guys should start to feel this burn. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. On this last one, take it down. Same leg, same grip on that weight, and we're going into some fire hydrants right here. Beautiful. Really working our outer thighs right here. Nice work. 10 seconds. Stay with me. Starting to burn for five, four, three, two on this last one. Release that weight out. Put it at the top of your mat so it's right there for your other leg. What I want you guys to do is straighten out that leg and come to the other side, tap the other side of your foot, and then we're gonna kick it out. So tap to kick, tap to kick. Here we go. Nice work. Get into these kicks, y'all. And breathe. Every time you kick, I want you guys to exhale. We have five, four, three, last two. Leave that leg straight up in the air, just like this. Hold, hold, hold. We're gonna come in some nice tricep push-ups as we hold that leg up. So, straighten it up. Tricep push-ups, give me six, five. Go at your own pace. Four, perfect. Get that leg even higher. And relax. All right, y'all, switch legs right here. So again, take that weight right behind your knee and give me those leg pulses. Breathe it out. Squeeze that booty. Core tight. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Don't give up just yet. We're going into those fire hydrants. Here we go. I'm gonna switch so y'all can see. Right here. Beautiful. Stay with me, you guys. You got it. 
10 seconds. Get that knee up there. Start to feel this burn in your outer thighs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release that weight. Put it at the top of your mat. Let's go to those kicks. So opposite toe tap, kick it out. Just like that. Again, get into these kicks. Perfect. Here we go, last four. Three, two, and one. Release that weight right behind your knee. Again, we're going into those side kicks. Tap that toe and then kick it out. Core tight. It doesn't matter how high you're kicking, just making sure you're getting into these kicks. Beautiful. 15 seconds, stay with me. Kick it out. First seven, six, five, four. Give me three more kicks. Last two. On this last one, we're gonna hold that at the top right here. Come right into these tricep push-ups. Six of them at your own pace. Just making sure your glute is extra tight. Here we go. And relax. All right, as you relax out of that, swing around, making sure your weight is nearby and come into a nice hip bridge. So we're laying right here, coming into that hip bridge. What I want you guys to do is place this weight right by your hips, but making sure it's sturdy. So maybe hold on to it so it doesn't you know, roll all around your body. We're gonna come and do a nice swivel from side to side, just like that. Great. And breathe. Nice work. You guys can kind of take a little deep breath here, but at the same time, really every time you swivel, you squeeze extra tight. 10 seconds. Tighten up your core. Great. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, set that weight down. I want one foot high in the sky just like that. Come back into those hip bridges and give me some nice hip bridges and a single leg high in the sky. Straighten it out if you guys can. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly switch. Other leg comes up, straighten it out, and give me those hip bridges. Squeeze those glutes. We have five, four, three, two, and one. As you finish that roll around, you do a nice little lazy roll around right here and come one hand on this weight right here. We do some nice side leg lifts. Perfect, lift and lower. Focus on your posture in this as well. You don't wanna be slouching. Great. This weight is just adding a little bit of extra resistance, a little bit of a challenge to work our outer thighs. Three, two, and on this last one, drop this weight. Place one foot in front of the other knee. And now let's work our inner thighs. My favorite inner thigh toner right here. Just nice flutter on the inner thigh. Again, open up your chest. Wonderful, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax and let's switch it on over. So other side, come down for that leg lift, place that weight right on top of that lower hip area and here we go. Core tight, nice work. Get that leg up there, baby. We have 15 seconds right here. It might not look like much, but if y'all are doing it with me, you know this is killer. Here we go, 10 seconds. 
eight, seven, six, five, four. Give me three more nice leg lifts. Two, on this last one, place that foot right in, right in front of that knee and give me that inner thigh leg lift. Open up your chest, take a nice deep breath as you flutter that inner thigh. Beautiful. Great, 10 seconds. Stay with me, almost there. Three, two, and one. Relax. As you relax, come meet me in a nice plank. So drop that weight right here. You actually do not need it for this next move. Come into a nice high plank. So we're holding this high plank right here, abs in tight. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, start to pick each leg up for those nice leg lifts right here. Stay steady. You got it. This one's tough. No need to rush these, y'all. Beautiful. Squeeze those glutes. 15 seconds right here, stay with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, drop those knees, inhale. As you exhale, come into a nice cat cow. Let's really sculpt that lower back now. So feel that stretch, inhale and exhale. Doing cat cows really actually does help that low back area to create that nice crease right before your booty. Give me three more cat cows right here. Great. Last one, as you relax, meet me in some nice, slow mountain climbers. So same thing, we are right here in a high plank, but slow mountain climbers, just like that, to really focus on our lower half and our abs. Great. 15 seconds, give it all you got. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. As you relax, take a deep breath right here. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Awesome work, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed that floor work of some lean legs and booty. I will see you at your next workout.